Peugeot Proxima concept. As an introduction to the Peugeot Proxima I have to say that the Peugeot Proxima was built in 1986, two years after the debut of the T16 at Bikes Peak, it was built with the most advanced technologies available at that time, which wasn't much if we compare it to today's technology. Its advanced mechanical solutions along its design would have become the benchmark of the brand's production models on the future. Out of there are details of the car that place it on the era it was built without a doubt the design surely compensated for it and made it look like a car from a completely different century. The bodywork of the Peugeot Proxima was made of composite materials, to be exact of resins and composite materials as carbon fiber, it would also use polycarbonate for the passenger compartment which used a 2x2 two two seat configuration with stratified Kevlar epoxy body the same composition used for the Quasar concept car. Another detail that we can see in the Peugeot Proxima concept is that the rims are designed to reduce air resistance this simple but ugly design would also be one of the main designs that Peugeot would later use on cars like the Peugeot 206 for the ugly plastic hubcaps that hide the black iron wheels that nobody wants to show. When they had a flat tire. In theory you could say you are driving a Peugeot 206 with a Proxima concept car wheels right. To assist the interior of the Peugeot Proxima concept you had to slide the folding roof backwards since it didn't have fancy Lamborghini style doors or doors that opened sideways like your average car on the 80s. However despite that annoyance in accessibility the Peugeot Proxima displayed a pretty elegant interior with carved riddle either that completely wraps the dashboard along the side panels including the headrest and the center console with a fancy digital display, this design also is inspired by the previous Quasar concept car. The cabin of the Peugeot Proxima was completely glazed and ventilated constantly thanks to the ventilation which drew electric power from the solar panels that sat behind the rear seat passengers, they were located on the rear cover on both sides of the aerodynamic deflector.